Okay, let's go look at section 3.6, Applications of Linear Equations and Modeling. Even though there's only four questions, don't be deceived. This could take a while. All right, question one. The minimum hourly wage, Y, in dollars per hour in a country can be approximated by the equation. Okay, this is the equation they're giving you. In this equation, X represents the number of years since 1970. So, for example, x equals 0 is 1970, x equals 5 would be 1975, and so on. So here's the federal minimum hourly wage by year. So let's go look at it. Let's see, in 1975, the hourly wage was about uh, $3 per hour. Let's see, when x is 20, this would be what, 75, 80, 85, 90? In 1990? The minimum wage would be about $5 an hour. Okay, question number one. Use the equation. What's the equation again? Y equals 0.13x plus 2 point. Y equals 0.13x plus, was it 2.45? Yes, plus 2.45 2 to approximate the minimum wage in the year 1980. So 1980 corresponds to x equals 10. So we're going to plug in 10 for x. So y equals 0 0.13 times 10 plus 2.45. Let's go on the calculator. 0 0.13 times 10 plus 2.45. I get 3.75. So the minimum wage in 1980 was approximately $3.75. <clears throat> Part two, use the equation to estimate the minimum wage in the year 1985. So 1985 would correspond to x equals 15, if 1970 was x equals zero. So we're gonna plug in y equals 0 0.13 times 15, plus 2.45, let's see what we get. We get 4.4. So the minimum wage in 1985 was approximately $4.40 per hour. Determine the y-intercept. Interpret the meaning of the y-intercept in the context of this problem. Okay, remember, y-intercept is always when x equals 0. So if we plugged in 0 for x to our equation, we would get, uh, do you want me to, I'll plug it on the calculator. You see that this first part would just be 0, and 0 plus 2.45 is 2.45. Now, remember what x equals 0 corresponds to. That's the year 1970. So in the year 1970, the minimum wage was approximately $2.45 per hour. Last part, determine the slope and interpret the meaning. All right, so we have z, uh, y equals 0 0.13x plus 2.45. When we have a linear equation, the slope is always the number. When it's in the form y equals mx plus b, the slope is always the number in front of the x. So the slope is 0 0.13. This indicates that the minimum wage has, since it's a positive number, it's going to increase by approximately 13 cents per year during this period. Question two, for a recent year, children's admission to the Minnesota State Fair was $6. Ride tickets were $2 each. The equation, and here's your equation, y equals 2.00x plus six. That equation represented the cost 
in dollars to be admitted to the fair and to purchase X ride tickets. So we have three things to go find. Part one says to determine the slope of the line represented by y equals 2.00x plus 6. Interpret the meaning of the slope in the context of this problem. Okay, it's already in the form y equals mx plus b. Our slope is the number in front of the x. So the slope is 2.00. The slope means that the cost, it's going to be a positive 2, so it increases by $2 per ride. So every ride that you ride, your cost, your total cost is going to increase by $2 per ride. Part two, determine the y-intercept. So remember that the equation is y equals 2.00x plus 6. The y-intercept is when x equals 0. So when x is 0, you get 0 plus 6, which is just 6. So the y-intercept is the point 0 comma 6, and this means that the cost would be $6 if no rides are purchased or zero rides are purchased. And last part, use the equation to determine how much money a child needed for admission and to ride 20 rides. So our equation was y equals 2.00x plus six. If they want to ride 20 rides, you want to do 2.00 times 20 plus six. That's a calculator. 2.00 times 20 plus six. The child would need $46. So the child would need $46 for the admission to ride 20 rides. Question three. Wind energy is one type of renewable energy that does not produce dangerous greenhouse gases as a byproduct. The graph shows the consumption of wind energy in a country for selected years. The variable Y represents the amount of wind energy in trillions of BTU, and the variable X represents the number of years since 2000. Okay, since 2000. Okay, in when X equals zero, that's the year 2000. And we're going to go 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005. Okay, this is the energy use in trillions of BTU. So let's say in the year 2000, it looks like you had 45 trillions of BTUs consumed. Okay, use the points to determine the slope. So we've got four different things to do. Part A. Use the points to determine the slope of the line. So remember that our slope, you have x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2. To find slope, you do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we get 125 minus 45 over 4 minus 0. On the calculator, I'm going to go do a fraction, 125 minus 45 over 4 minus 0. My slope is 20. So M is 20. Interpret the slope in the context of this problem. The slope means that the consumption of wind energy in the country 20 is a positive number, so it's going to increase by 20 trillion BTU per year. Use the two points to find a linear equation relating the consumption of wind energy to the number of years since 2000. Okay, it wants you to do slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form, that's y equals mx plus b. We know that our slope is 20. And they give us the y-intercept. The y-intercept is the point 0, 0,45.
So our equation would be y equals 20x plus 45. Part 4 says, if this linear trend continues beyond the observed data values, use this equation that you found in Part C to estimate the consumption of wind energy in the year 2007. So x equals 0 corresponded to the year 2000. We want the year 2007, so that's going to be when x equals 7. So we're going to use the equation y equals 20x plus 45, and we're going to plug 7 in for x. y equals 20 times 7 plus 45. 20 times 7 plus 45. So in the year 2007, we're going to consume 185 trillions of BTU. In the year 2007, approximately 185 trillion BTU will be consumed. All right, the last question on this homework. Question four, the air conditioning, sorry, an air conditioning and heating company has a fixed monthly cost of $6,000. Furthermore, each service call costs the company $30. Write a linear equation to compute the total cost for one month if X service calls are made. Use the equation to compute the cost for one month if 153 service calls are made. Okay, we know they have a fixed monthly cost of $6,000. And you know that each service call costs the company $30. So the equation is going to be Y equals... $30 per service call, so times X calls, plus the fixed cost of 6000 Okay, if you had no service calls, so X was zero, it would still cost $6,000. If you had one service call, it would cost the company $30 times one plus $6,000, so $6,030. Okay, we wanted to write it in slope intercept form. We're done for part, uh, part one. Part two, use the equation to compute the cost for one month if 153 service calls are made. So Y equals 30 times 153 plus 6,000. I get 10590 So the cost for one month when 153 service calls are made is $10,590. And that's it for this homework.